हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand D-type bias table. This is the block diagram of D-type bias table. If you observe this block diagram, D-type bias table has two inputs. First one is D, which represents data or delay, and second one is CLK that represents clock. So D-type bias table has two inputs. First one is D. that represents data or delay and second one is clk that is clock the data input can be logic 0 or logic 1 so data input can be logic 0 or logic 1 so here whatever data we give this data input can be logic 0 or logic 1 here the output changes only when clock changes its states so here output will change only when the clock changes its state so it can change from high state to low state so depending upon the state of clock the output will change if you take the clock signal when the state of the clock is changing from low state to high state so this edge of the clock we call that as rising edge of the clock and from high state to low state it will move and this edge is known as the falling edge of the clock so this edge it is known as rising edge and this edge is known as falling edge of the clock so we can design the d flip flop either for rising edge of the clock or for falling edge of the clock so here a d flip flop is designed for a rising edge of the clock which means when the clock signal is applied for every rising edge of the clock the signal will change the output signal will change hence this operation is said to be synchronous operation which means the output is in sync with the clock signal which is applied at the input now let us consider the timing diagram of d type bias table to understand its working now the input data can be either 0 or 1 so this can be represented using a low state as well as a high state when clock is 0 output will be in the previous state so let us assume the previous state is 0 now whenever we apply a clock correspondingly at the rising edge of the clock whatever input is there that input will appear at the output so if you observe here at the first clock pulse correspondingly at the rising edge of the clock we are having 1 so that's why at rising edge of the clock will get the output as 1 and this output will remain until we apply next clock pulse so the output will remain 1 until we apply next clock pulse so for the next clock pulse at the rising edge of the clock correspondingly we are having the input as low which is 0 so that signal will appear at the output for the rising edge of the clock so this is how the d flip flop or d bias table will operate if clock signal is zero irrespective of what we have at the input of d flip flop the output will be previous state so whatever data it is stored in the previous state will get the same output so here qn plus 1 represents next state when we apply the clock and q represents the previous state which is nothing but the previous data so if the previous data was 0 output will be 0 and if the previous data was 1 output will be 1 when we make clock as 0 when clock is high and input is 0 output will be 0 if clock is high and input is 1 output will be 1 
so this is how the d type bias table operates this is about d type bias table hope you have understood the topic thank you